Hey there, hello. So I wasn't really sure what to do for this last video. Uh, obviously in class we went over different photos that you folks processed and just kind of like looked at the, the various uh, ways in which you did that. In this case, I thought, well, you know what? We learned a lot about Lightroom and then we ended off the class, of course, talking about some alternatives. Why not focus on some of the alternatives in case you know you don't want to use Lightroom or uh, you don't think you'll you'll purchase it. Um, here I have googled free Lightroom alternatives and I've got back some that are free and some that are not. That's totally okay. Some of these are free, some of these are paid, so we'll just go over some of these really quick. I had mentioned raw therapy in class and this is a raw image editor. So this is where you can do your post-processing. Raw therapy doesn't do the database organizational stuff that Lightroom does. It's more based around processing the RAWs. So this is a, a, actually a good way to go if you're fine, you know, keeping track of your files a different way. Here you might remember GNU Image Manipulation Program or GIMP uh, and this particular, and you know what, kind of ignore the icons here. I don't think they have anything to do with the actual programs. I think these are just images that were on the websites that um, kind of got crawled for uh, for this particular set of results. But this is very much like a Photoshop-ish program. As far as a photo editor goes, that is something very useful. It is also open source and free. So that is something that you might want to look into. It is fairly powerful. Of course, you know, being open source and free, they don't necessarily have the resources that Adobe does to do all of the various um, AI stuff and, and what have you, but it's definitely serviceable if you need a Photoshop alternative and uh, can be very good for working on photos. A paid one, Luminar, I believe Luminar Neo is the current one that they have out. These folks are actually based out of Ukraine and you know with all the stuff that had been going on there they were actually able to keep their software going and updates coming throughout the war. Uh, I believe you know things are a little bit more stable now or a little bit more of a stalemate over there so you know there's regular support coming from these folks. They also have different AI modules and stuff that, or plugins that uh, can be added a la carte so you can sort of build the program you need. So this might be one that you might want to look into if you're willing to put up a couple dollars. The sort of most, I would say, apples to apples alternative for Lightroom is Capture One. And Capture One and this is where you, I think I had mentioned, can get people that are kind of in like a Ford versus GM type of situation uh, where you got different photographers who like Lightroom, different photographers who like Capture One, and they, they argue with each other about, you know, little feature differences and that type of thing. But Capture One is a fairly robust program. And, you know, you can do not only the raw processing, but... Uh, the file management stuff as well. ON1 Photo Raw, this is another option. It, I believe, kind of gives you a little bit, don't quote me on this, but it, it might include some extra tools, maybe a little bit more Photoshop-esque in there, but this is a raw uh, developing program. So if you're looking for something that's an alternative, and well regarded, this one tends to kind of be up there near the top of the conversation. And you can always come, there's always like lists like 12 best, best this, best that. You can always click on these links, obviously, and, and go read the articles themselves. Darktable and ACDC are two that I have heard before, but that I haven't used personally. I've heard some you know, I've heard about them and a little bit of good buzz maybe, so they might they might be worth looking into. DxO Photo Lab. Uh, DxO, uh, you might have heard of the website DxO Mark. 
it's kind of they they were more prominent years ago where they did a lot of reviews of cameras and and lenses and stuff but they also had a software side uh or well they were a software company and i don't want to get too much in the weeds but they do have this program here which some people swear by so you know come down here and take a look at you know tech radar or something might have something good to say about them apple photos you can actually develop raws through apple photos um and if you want that type of experience it's not terrible you get access to some of the same adjustments and whatnot that that you do get when something like lightroom even down to things like curves this might be worth looking into if you uh if you're so inclined you know photoshop is not a lightroom alternative nor is it free thanks <laughs> thanks search bar i'm not super familiar with many of the other ones here things like google or microsoft i think these are are online cloud services i'm not super into that type of stuff as i probably made clear also not a super big fan of giving google any of my information so <laughs> take that for what it's worth but yeah that's a bit of a sort of lay of the land Raw Therapy, GIMP if you're looking for free, Luminar if you're looking uh, for something that's got a lot of AI stuff, Capture One if you're looking for like a same, same, but different for Lightroom, Owen One Photo Raws, again, very capable, Darktable and ACDC are both worth checking out. Some of these programs will have free trials and that type of stuff it's worth um, taking a look if you need an alternative. So I hope this rather short video Thanks so much. Take care.